Well, a major cell phone outage involving AT&T disrupted services for tens of thousands of people across the country today, including right here in the Triangle. As the carrier scrambled to get things back online, it caused frustration and problems. Consumer investigator Steve Sprecia is digging deeper into what happened. And Steve, what'd you learn? Well, the first indication of the outage started showing up around 4 o'clock this morning. AT&T, as well as any economy phone services that use AT&T facilities, were affected. It put the company into emergency mode as it struggled to restore things. This is the message many AT&T cell phone users got, informing them service was unavailable. Issues surfaced around the country. The website Down Detector, which relies on people reporting problems, showed issues in San Francisco, where the fire department put out an alert saying that many people could not dial 911 and advising them to try a landline or alternative way to reach emergency services. In Chicago, the outage also caused problems. I can't even use my GPS, my music, call my wife, tell her where I'm going to be. Especially commuting in from down, outside downtown, it's a big struggle out here. In central Florida, the outage caught the attention of Governor Ron DeSantis. You're just so naturally reliant on having, uh, having cell service. If you're in the car, you need to figure out where you're going to go, all this other stuff. So um, it, it's a little, bit, uh, a little bit jarring to think about the implications if something like that happened on a much grander scale. The outage affected not only AT&T, but also economy carriers like Cricket. And how does a carrier like Cricket, because they, they don't build their own towers and so forth, how do they use a major carrier's uh, system? Typically, if there's a root issue with AT&T and then you have any other services that are piggybacking on top of that, they would all get uh, affected as well, be it a domino effect. On its website, AT&T ran a banner saying it was working urgently to restore service. By midday, it reported about 75 percent of its system was back up and running. But why did it go down in the first place? Now, what was the root cause of the issue? And, that, and sometimes that takes, you know, days or weeks to investigate and figure that out. Now, around 3.30 this afternoon, the company reported its systems were 100% back and running. Both the Department of Homeland Security as well as the FBI are now looking into what happened. The White House says it's too early right now to know if this may have been a cyber attack. Working for you in the newsroom, I'm Steve Sprecia, CBS 17 News. All right, Steve, thank you. A lot of people were affected by this, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah.